In this lesson, you will learn how to create your first Niagara Fluid emitter. In order to do that, you need first to load the plugin. So make sure you go to Edit and then Plugins and type Fluid. And make sure you load the Niagara Fluids. As you see, it's in beta, so it's not ready for production. So make sure you load that and you should restart Unreal Engine after loading that. So let's go ahead and right click and choose Niagara system and selecting the second option and click next you should see the templates after you load the plugin. You can see we have the 2D gas and if you scroll down you can see we have the 3D gas. So the 2D simulations are more efficient and better suited for games and real time use. 3D simulations have more realistic look, but the trade-off in higher memory and GPU cost. As such, 3D simulations are best for hero effects or cinematics. If needed, the result can also be baked into flipbook and applied to texture for increased performance in real-time use. So let's go ahead first and take a look at the 2D smoke. Let's click on this one and click on finish and let's double click on that to open it so you can see here we have two emitters so basically the first one is the source of the particles so if i come over here and check on the sprite renderer you can see i have the particles and if i disable the grid so basically these particles will emit the smoke so if i check that on so you can see we have the smoke emitted from the particles let's turn off that so this emitter emits the smoke and this emitter controls the look of the fire or the smoke and you can see we have a lot of options here we have mass amount of modules you don't need them in most cases so if you come over here and click on show emitter summary now we have just one module which called emitter summary so if you click on that here you can see all the options you need to change the look of the fire or the smoke and of course these options are different when you load the grid 3d template we're gonna take a look at that too so if I go ahead and let's close it and let's go ahead and right click and choose Niagara next and this time I'm gonna choose the 3D gas let's scroll down and we're gonna click on grid 3D gas fire finish and let's double click on that So it takes some time to load that because this is a 3D container. Okay. As you see, we have the same emitters. The first one emitting the fire. If you click on the sprite render and it takes a lot of time to load. play so you can see here I have the source and I like to go to the spawn rate and I'm gonna decrease that in order to make the simulation faster let's set it to 5000 Hit enter now it should be faster okay and you can see we lost the volume so we can go to the initialize particle and I can go to the uniform sprite and increase the size maybe to 10. This will increase the flame size 10. And here we have nice result. So let's go ahead and disable that. So in the source, particle source, if you come to the set fluid source attributes here you can find most of the options you need to control the emitter sourcing 
So in most cases, you don't need to play with these options. For example, if you come over here, you can see we have the density, we have the temperature. We're going to take a look at all of them in the next lessons. And here again, as you see now, it's written grid 3D. And if you open it, you can see we have mass amount of modules. And this is really confusing for beginners, but in most cases, you don't need to play with them just you need to go to the emitter summary and you can see all the options here is organized for you for example you can control the simulation you have the forces collisions the render for example if you go there you can see we have the render density as you see i don't have any smoke on the fire so i can come over here and change that to linear this will activate the smoke now we should see the smoke emitted from the fire takes a little bit of time so here you can see it and you can increase the density by playing with the density gain or density albedo check out my complete vfx niagara course to learn everything about niagara in unreal engine 5